Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. We know that、uh, many MacBook with、uh, Apple processor they only have eight gigabytes of RAM. However, even with eight gigabytes of RAM, there are many AI application that you can run. So today, I want to do some quick demo about those. It includes、uh, large language models and also stable diffusion. Let's get started. First, I would like to show you the performance of Stable Diffusion using the Diffusers library on MacBook Pro. This works for all Mac processor, including MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, M1, M2, or the latest M3. So, uh, I have the tutorial on installation in my previous video. I will add the link to the description. The conda submit the PyTorch EMV. Activate that. So, so you, as you can see, this is my installed、uh, packages. The Torch is two point one point zero version. And I also installed、uh, the diffusers library. Right, so let's、uh, open the Python. Yeah, so so this one is the actual、uh, output which I did previously. So let's、uh, let's do it、uh, exactly the same. So import. So first we import torch, and then we import the pipeline stable diffusion pipeline from diffusers. So next you would need to down uh download the model and then um just.、Uh, Import the model.、Um, the, I will also show you the the memory usage. So in this case, as you can see, my memory right now is at four point four eight gigabytes. And、uh, let's uh, so so you will need to use the half precision the float sixteen.、Uh, Otherwise.、Uh, It will not able to fit, so so in this case I'm using the base model V one point five, and let's press enter. Okay, so next step. Uh, you we want to need to utilize the、uh, Mac processors、uh, GPU. We transfer the pipe to the MPS. So this one is quite quick, and then you can、uh, like provide your input prompt. Cut. HK, right. So and then the next step, you will run the model to generate the image. Right. So let's do it. All right. We see the memory shoot up to seven point six gigabytes. Estimated time is around the one minute, fourteen seconds. And the GPU utilization is at one hundred percent. So in the right panel, CPU, uh, half of them is at about thirty、uh, percent.
Yeah, also, I think as usual, so the first run usually takes longer. So I will do another run to just to give you an idea. All right, it's completed. So let's uh, do a quick show. Yeah, all right. So so as you can see, right? So this one looks looks uh, looks quite good, I think. <laughs> so so we'll, we'll let's do another one. So this one took about uh, one minute, which is not not bad, right? So this one, so image, do another one. So so usually you don't need uh, the fifty steps. Normally, like twenty steps to thirty steps should be sufficient. Okay, so so it's uh, two seconds faster. Okay, so this this time I think the image looks better than the previous one. All right, so so yes, I think uh, so you can you can use the speed here and the times the number of steps to estimate how long it would take. So for twenty five steps, it would uh, take about uh, half a minute to generate one image. I think that's not bad. Um, I recommend that you can give it a try if you are interested and let me know if you have any questions. Next, I will demo the large language model. To run the large language model, there are multiple open source models that you can use. So one of my favorite one recently is called uh, Olama. So if you go to the olama.ai, this URL, you can open its homepage. So it's basically a, a wrapper around the llama.cpp. It created the own application that you can install on your MacBook. And then you can basically run the server there. And then you can run a client right on your terminal. So you you should you will need to go to the download to download it. So there's a Mac OS. You click Mac OS. After it's completed, you can install that. So so it's similar to other application on Mac OS. You double click it, and then you can drop it into the application directory. So and then you can click to start it so uh, let me show you right so after installation you can find the olama into in your application directory you click that and then it will automatically start the server all right and all the next you can you, you need to do is to just uh, simply open a terminal Right, so you can go to the models here, models, and there are multiple models you can choose. So I suggest you choose something smaller, like a 7 billion parameter model. So I think this one is really good, but this, this one is a base model, 
So if you are interested in chatting, you can uh, do some fine tuned model. For example, you can use the this one. This one is fine tuned based on the seven B model for the mixture. So you can click that. There's information introduction, and then you can uh you can basically copy the command. And uh, on your terminal, you can simply copy and paste that here. So, so on the first run, it uh, needs to download uh, the actual model. It's about uh, four point seven gigabytes. Oh, excuse me, it's four point one gigabytes. So you we would need uh, to wait until it's uh, downloaded, and then you can start the. Chatting. So, so in, in this case, I will use the exact command and uh, press enter. Right. So, since I already downloaded it, so it uh, it should use about uh, ninety five percent of the available RAM. So, you may experience some lagging. So, I think that's. Uh, can be maybe expected. All right, so okay, I think it pretty works pretty well. We see the GPU utilization is almost ninety to ninety five percent during the time. And uh, so let's uh, try it again. So let's do the chatting mod. So basically, you just run the model, and it asks you to provide your input. Right, so I'm asking it to tell me a story about AI. Right, so you can see it's quite smooth. It's actually faster than what I can read. Right. All right. Yeah, we can just uh, close it. Lastly, I would like to demo running Llama.cpp. Llama.cpp is the internal engine that's been used by Olama. So I uh, will use the Mistral model, 7B model. And uh, I will do quickly. I have converted it to four bit, so it would require less v VRAM or RAM here. Let's do a test to 256. Press enter. So it will automatically use the GPU and the CPU. Let's take a look. Right, so it also printed out the speed. It's about 19 tokens per second. And uh, let's uh, try it another time. Right. Yeah, as we can see, the GPU utilization is at 100%. Right, so it's about 18.6 tokens per second. This is a chat mode. After the initial greeting, you can ask questions. Mm.
Okay. Yeah, looks quite good. Yeah, that's not not a bad either. Well, this is a difficult uh, question. All right, I think that's uh, technically correct, right? You can use a spacecraft. And you need a prep protection. All right. Okay. So I think uh, uh, you can get an idea about the basic speed. Um, I, th I think that's uh, and it's about uh, forty-eight tokens per second. This one is uh, seventeen tokens per second. All right. So yeah. So this one is seventeen. Also. All right. All right, so yeah, I hope you, you enjoy my video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support. I also have a Discord server that you can try. Um, thank you very much. Goodbye.